Well guys, there's a going at them from basically open cards and here I'm again with another color bidding today We're doing something slightly different. We are doing the Final Fantasy trading card game. This is um This is a card game. I really like um I don't have anyone to play with I've kind of the rules have kind of gotten a bit out for me But I really love the cards in the Final Fantasy TCG. They look really nice uh, especially towards the newer sets. This is uh, uh It's not an older set. It is the most recent set um I think uh, 14 will be coming out soon. But I did manage to get one of these a lot cheaper than what they're worth. And um, I thought, what a better time to try and get back into collecting them. Um, in this one, you can get a full out, full art, full art lightning card, which is worth a lot of money. Um, but a lot of the other ones that aren't worth a lot of money still look very nice and are very nice to collect. So if you can get one cheap like I did, um, I'd say it's a good, good set to get into. Um, the lightning does go, like I said, the full art goes for a lot more, uh, and, uh, the non-full art version goes for a very, very low amount, so without further ado, I'll just rip into this box right now, and, uh, we'll have a look at what we get, so, the full arts are obviously the cards that we want, I think we're not guaranteed, but, um, from what I've watched, a lot of openings more recent sets you'll get at least two full arts per box they're pretty easy to spot they don't have um the box the box around the lettering you can spot them a mile away and um yeah let's see um oh, i did collect pretty much most of the first set so the cool thing about when you buy final fantasy is you always get a box topper um this one is gold bears See the rain, uh, the rainbow kind of glitter uh, foil. That's what their um, all of their reverses look like. So, oh god, I didn't realise there'd be this many packs. There's quite a lot of packs. A lot of people like to cut their packs. These types of packs, these are like the the Japanese um, Pokemon packs. If you watch people open them, but I'm not a fan. You can open these by just ripping the sides. Um, and they usually, most Japanese packs will have something like this. Um, a lot of people don't like doing it. Um, some people will also just open them up normally. So, these are uh, one of my favorite cards. They look so nice. They're very nice to collect. So we get Black Mage, uh, White Mage, Quill, Viking, Onion Knight, Lady of Antiquity, and first up, we have the Crystal X Arc. Uh, I forgot how you tell the rarity of these. Usually says down in the bottom here. S. What does S stand for? <laughs> Special? Okay, Common, Rare, Hero, Legend, and Premium. Okay, I don't know what that, what this one falls under. So we do have a Hero card next. Sid Randall. So you can get him in a full art. So like I said, this here will be non-existent. And then we have a rare. And then we have a Pavlov. This is also nice. And Squall. So the cool thing about the Final Fantasy cards that I like is the back is very um very matte, except for the wording there, which is kind of um uh, what would you call it? I would not have a clue, but we will put them in order of, um, they are common to rare. I think it goes straight from common to rare, doesn't it? Yep, hero, legend. So legends are the cards we want, so there is no possible way to do it like that. It's been a while since I've opened these. It's pretty hard to find them just randomly around in shops. I used to buy them at, um, at PAX a lot, because at PAX they'll uh, sell the boxes a lot cheaper. Okay, commons, a lot of commons, and then we have SimQ from Type Zero. Didn't really play that much, but that is a rare reverse. Is the coloring slightly different? Yes, it is slightly reddish. Before they used to always be the same color. Okay, then we have Hero. See from 13. Didn't really play 13 that much. Um, then we have Yang. Irvine and Yazuki. I 
don't know. I don't think I'll get very many expensive cards. I just really wanted to open these considering they were um, a lot cheaper than it would cost usually to buy a box. Sarah from Mobius. Onion Knight from Tactics. Okay, we've got a cool one. It looks kind of like it's got two different colours on it. Onion Knight from Tactics. Oh, it's Yuzuki again. A rare hero. It does kind of... I don't know if you can tell. Kind of blue and then red on this side. So it must be depending on the type of card they are, what colour they would be. Belthia from 12, from 12. That looks like his Tactics um, outfit. Uh, from Tactic War of the Line. Um, on uh, PSP, I used to have that. It was a special character you could get. So I can see why now people have been opening their packs. Okay. This stack is going to get pretty high. I wonder if I might get the full base of commons in this. I will put them together in a folder. When I can get some more sleeves. Noel from 13. Charlotte from Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. Rare. Doing quite well with our foils. Um, selfie is Hero. Uh, Gudon. Rare. Jake. Rare. Charlotte again. Rare. Sorry, this might be a long one. I'm enjoying this opening. Okay, we have a Time Mage, Sander, Stiltskin, Monk, Cool, Abyss Worm, Oil Boil, <laughs> and then we have an Ochu, which is a common foil. Then we have Uni. From three, don't remember her. So looks like we're guaranteed a hero every pack. Million Bird, Lassie, from Type Zero, I'm assuming. Yep. And then Wall from Final Fantasy, Mobius and Odin. So I don't know if you're guaranteed a legend. I don't know what the pool rates are on these. I didn't look too well into it. Zemus, Tanagori, UK, Legendary Soldier, and then we have a Wall from Mobius. It's a nice looking one. That is a rare. Put it here. Julius, yeah, Brave Exodus, I remember her. Oh, that's a legend character there. So, put her in our own stack. Then we have Hope, Neil, and Laguna as rares. Man, there's a lot of packs in here. This is going to be a long one. Sorry if I'm not too keen, but I'll try and skip through all these commons. Because it looks like it's getting very repetitive. Then we have Spiritus. And that is from, what is it, DFF? Hmm. Oh, Decidia Final Fantasy, I think it is. Um, here's a legend and a, a foil. So that's pretty cool. We need his own little stack. So I think the legends and the heroes go for a little bit more. So we'll put them there for now. Then we have Lid, who's a hero. Then we have Lycasius. I'm guessing he's from Crystal Chronicles. Eight from Type Zero. And Luca from Brave Exodus. Sage, what one is this? EX. What is EX? Uh, Epictologica. Illusionary 9. Uh, Simon. And then we have a Stiltskin, which is a common foil. We have Sarah from 3. Alexander from EX. Uh, that's. Oh, we managed to get two heroes. And then EX, and then Laswell. So one of the rares was swapped with a hero, which was a little confusing. But I guess it happens sometimes. Okay. Warrior Blight, Quintus, 
Sasume, Ark, Propagator, Iron Giant, Delusionary Warrior. Then we have a hero, Foil, uh, Bunavilze. It's been a while since I've played 13, so I wouldn't know. Okay, then the hero is Barbarisha from 4, okay. Uh, Sync from Type 0, Mid from Brave Exodus, Agrius from Tactics. Rare, rare, rare. I need to double check these. Sorry, this is going to be a super long video. So, if you don't like Final Fantasy um, card game, you're probably going to find it very boring. And we're getting Simon. Okay, we got Clavart. Uh, common foil. Then we have Doga from three. He's a hero. Then we have Cecil, Sakura, and Shiva. Shiva doesn't look like a normal Shiva, I see. Man, we have so many packs to go still. I'll try my best to go through these a lot quicker. So you Kita. And nope. Iron Giant. We have Agrius from Tactics. That is a rare. Then we have Nine from Type Zero. That is a legend. Hope, Squall, and Wall. All rares. So we might get a fair chunk of the set. If you're not willing to try and get all the rares, I guess. Delita, and oh, we got a nice gold one here. <laughs> That's just Lady of Antiquity. Uh, that is a common, looks nice. Chime, that looks pretty sick. Alexander, Jake, and Shiva again, all rares. Lightning again, Packard, nice. Alchemist, Sarah, Mobius, of course. Lyman, oh, we got something there. Lil T. And we have a Titania. Uh, S, I still don't know what S stands for. Um, so we'll just put that there. So this is a card I was on about. Lightning. Now, if you get this in the full art version, it is worth a lot. Of course, that is not the full art version. That's just a normal hero version. Moonbird Luca. All rares. We're not even halfway through. Give me a sec to tidy up in this stack. There is a lot of cards. And a lot of mess. I'm not even halfway through yet, which is kind of funny. Okay. Let's blah, 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 blah. Just to get through it. Counterfeit Youth. Then we have Belthia. Shiny Hero. And then we have the normal hero, which is Scar Megluin. Lydia, Sakura, and Laguna as the rares. Really thinking I should probably pause this and cut all these. But I really couldn't be bothered accidentally cutting up my cards. Okay, I just don't know if I should just do that. But we have a common counterfeit wraith. Then we have a Kagnazo Ramza, which is a really nice card. I like that one. That also comes in a full art, eight, and agrius. Um, and Odin, rare. Then we have Vanilla. Neil, Odin, Discard Knight, and Laswell from Brave Exodus. 
I'm not seeing any four hearts. I think we get two. Right now, I'm just hoping we get one. Yeah, I thought she was from Crystal Comics, both of them. Okay, nice chime foil, which is very nice. That is a hero, so I'll put that in the hero, shiny hero stack. And then we have Kane, there's the hero. Sinkly, Type Zero, and Fina from Brave Exodus. Okay, we're nearly through the first stack. If you're getting bored of this already. Something looks a little more sparkly than normal. Nope, just had more sparkle on it. It is common or the nerf. Then we have Golbez, which was the card we got earlier. That is a legend. Cecil, Bulhamet, and Lumina. Okay, we got our first pull art, and I think it is Leviathan. So that will be one of our pull arts. It is a rare pull art, which is a little sucky, but hero is Aldor Emperor. And we have a Pavlov again, really horrendous cut on that. Nicole, Elena. So, sorry for moaning in the camera or grunting, whatever the hell wants to be considered. Okay. Uh, so we're down one of our full arts that I think we may get to. Okay, and then we have La Case, La Kiosius. Rare. Graf is a hero. Good on Irvine and Yuzuki. Ooh, you'll get something special. Okay, we got Kane. Kind of skipped through that a fair bit. He's a shiny hero, so that's kind of cool. Remedy. Also a hero. I think that man, this chair sounds like a fart every time I twist the tiniest bit, which is very annoying. Especially since for some reason it's ten times louder in the video. Lightning, Alchemist, Steel Skin, Clavart, Imaginary Soldier, Lilty, and Selfie. Well, that is a shiny hero, so that's nice. Sophie, legendary, I think that is. And we have the Ramser again, Fina, and Lumina. Common rain from Brave Exodus, Yang, and X Death. Oh, I'm trying to wreck the cards here, but looks like it doesn't want to go my way. Okay. Mobius, Rafa, Silky, White Mage. Then we have Noah and we have Mid, which is a rare. Then we have Onion Knight, which is a really nice card. I like this one. You can also get that in the full art trade video wall. There's so many of these cards that can be full arts, and I happen and one of mine happened to be a, a rare. 
That is pretty unlucky. This one, oil boil, imaginary soldier, and Sid Hayes. Here's this hero in this. White Tiger, this is Nimbus Legend. And we have Rams of Rare, Levnato, Levnato, Oven. You actually get quite a lot of cards in this. New eyes. Nearly make a couple of decks, I think. Red Mage and Level Nah. So, Legendary File, Mandel, 8, Nickel, Shira. Clean this stack up a little bit. Uh, back mage. Okay, I've got to stop saying all the common people's names because it's going to be like an hour long video, which I'm sure none of you really want. This could be a good one. Nope. This hope is nice. We get Sid Hayes again. Special X Death. Thing now. Smacking everything around. So I have to scratch my nose. We got our other full art. Delusionary Warlock. No, it wasn't. It was just a sage. Common sage. Okay, Conchira. Hero. Okay, they were starting to get a bit repetitive, the rares. Okay, that was a nice clean rip. Okay, this. I know I say it every time, but this, this one looks slightly different colour. Nope, the million birdless sea. It's a rare uh, Celestia. Sakura. Now we're just going to have to start skipping the rares as well. Ultima Sea. Oh, looked like a new common. Had me confused for a second. Is this? Uh, that's just a common L, which is a hero. Armor Dryad Laguna. Okay, we're actually getting really quick now because I'm being blitzing through them. Okay. Don't even say. And Alchemist, common. Now we have Spiritus, the hero. Now, Lumia and Charlotte. We are down to the last five packs. I've lived through that last part, but I don't know if I've skipped past the full art. That's why I'm doing this, because I don't know if some full arts are non hollows. If every full art. Nope, oh, there it is. <laughs> Do Sawyer. That is a nice little one. That would be probably our last full art, I think. I think he was one of the top three to get so it actually is a nice card to get but let's hope that it is we will put it aside I'm pretty certain that you only can get the two full arts but we'll continue like that's not the case Okay, not you're gonna wreck my pack. Thanks. All right. Let's keep it here, skip it in. I don't think we saw that one. Viking, and then we got eight, which is a rare. We have Sarah here from three. Dun, dun, dun. Marek. 
Then we have a Barbaricia. Alright, Yang Leviathan. Two packs left. I think we've gotten all our box hits so far. We can always hope for a couple legends. At least. Legend cards kind of go for a couple bucks. And uh, wasn't meant to happen. But we have Simon Foil. Then we have a Doga Hero. Rare, rare. Last pack. Um, oh, I hope you enjoyed this opening at least because I had fun opening. I do, like I said, I do love Final Fantasy. Uh, the games and uh, the cards are really nice. I suggest if you can get a chance to buy a pack. Do we get the same dude? Match. Um, yeah, I suggest buying packs, see if you like them. They're really nice quality. I enjoy them. Oh, double null again. Double null foil. Uh, is it coming there? Onion Knight. Here's a hero. And Mog, Alexander, and Agrius. So, actually did alright, I think. We got a lot of commons. <laughs> a lot of commons. Um, pretty much a foil of pack, which is always cool, because then you can you get a nice chance of um, getting some good stuff. So, we got one hero per pack. All these foils. Then we got a legend. One, two, three, four, five legends. Um, what are these ones? These are all legend, hero, 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 S, which I don't know what that means. Hero and legend. So we've got a few foil legends and hero legends. And these are all just our, the rest of our uh, foils. Obviously the two main cards of this box was the Leviathan, which I don't think is worth too much because it's only a rare, and the Fusoya, which is a, a legend full art, which means it probably goes for a couple bucks. But, oh, and we also got this cool gold bears um, promo. But with that, I don't even know if that's considered a promo. Legend, yeah, it says PR at the front, so it's probably a promo. But with that, we are going to end the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it. It does um does help with the algorithms and such. Click subscribe if you like to see um random card openings, and um yeah, it really does help me out. It helps with the algorithm as well. But with that, we're going to end. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.